Whoa! Oh my gosh! Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. So today, Dad and I are back out here at the Southern Getaway property that we've been working on the past couple of days and the past couple of videos. We've actually been waiting for an amazing sunny day just like this one so we could pull back we could pull the truck back into the front yard like we're doing right now and uh we don't really know what else to say about today's video other than it should be an exciting one and we're looking forward to it we're looking forward to tackling this project we hinted about we hinted at it at a couple videos back if you guys remember but uh we've got the truck parked now we got a couple scraps of wood and i think we're gonna we're gonna assemble this scaffolding so what, what's the first step right here dad yeah we're gonna build the scaffolding we have four sections each one is six feet tall we're going to be in that flower bed so we cut up that that nice two by ten we had yeah so let's get it done all right let's build it man this is sweet getting right up to this uh <laughs> right up to where we need to be yep you were scared we had to walk everything around huh yeah how I mean, many pieces of scaffolding you got in the truck uh, four sections okay how tall each one is six feet tall you think 12 12 feet is going to be enough 24 feet oh right yeah so, yeah i thought you meant two each but right. you mean, okay cool yeah. I did the same thing yesterday at the rental yard. I, he was giving me 16 pens. I said, why, why do I need that many? So we're going to be back here in this corner of the house and we got to get all the way. That's where we're, that's where we're trying to work right there. Yeah. So we just got to build the scaffolding real quick, huh? Yeah, let's uh, get it unloaded right here. Okay. Kind of on top of else. Right. Lay it out into pieces. I brought this bee suit. Hopefully we won't need it, but I wanted to come prepared. We don't know what's back there. Yep. Let's put the scaffolding up. How are we looking level wise? Up on this one a little more. Okay. Is it cool little s scaffolding lev yeah. Uh, levels. Yeah, we have to be make our first section level, so we're plumb. We're, All the way up. Yeah, we're going up pretty high. We don't want to be too. Right. Let's check this way now. Okay. I don't know how we do that? Yeah, I was about I was about to say. I guess we'll put the board on top and put the level on the board. Okay. And like then, the metal. Yeah, and then we'll make that'll make sure we got the right braces. All right, let's go grab a metal piece. Oh, they're right there, actually. Yeah. So you're probably just a little bit off. Yeah. Which way? Uh, you got to come up on the right. And let's see, let's move this one. Let's see, we'll come up on this one first. Yeah, you got to come up like a half an inch. Okay, I mean, you could go a little bit more if you wanted to, but I'm all right with it. This corner needs to come up a little more. Okay. Cool. All right, all right let's get the rest of this thing up, huh? piece up to the top we just got this big carabiner Nice. All right, two braces. Two braces? That stick's up here like something's dead. Really? I wonder if it's this hive. Okay. It's starting to rot. All right, let's get in there. All right, tools coming up. Yes, it is. <laughs> Especially with no pins. Wow. <laughs> Did 
not like that. All right, so now we're up here, and um, it doesn't look sketchy from the bottom, but like when you're up here, this is sketchy. Yeah. It's shaking. What are we doing? So the plan is to remove these four pieces of tongue and groove. Maybe not this one. It looks like it's sealed to the house behind the. Okay. Yeah, it would be behind the siding. So these three. And we'll see what's in there. Okay, and how are we gonna remove the boards? So this fascia is attached to the subfascia, just like in our previous videos, right? Right. So I imagine that this piece of tongue and groove is nailed to the subfascia. So I'm gonna put this screw out here so it does not hit the subfascia. Does that make sense? Right. And I'll then, look. And then um, try to pry it out. Once we get one out, we'll be all right. Okay, let's send it. The, the bees are saying, warning. Warning. Look, he's ready. For what? He's ready to defend his queen. <sighs> yep. You want to put a suit on? I think. Okay. He'll get stung in the face. Right. Well, maybe you could just put the hat on. I think it's all in one. Oh, okay. Why don't I do that? And if you can go down, can you put the bus saw in there for me? Yeah. And I think it would help us to cut that. All right, sounds good. All right. All right, getting all suited up. I guess the glove goes over the... Yeah. yeah. So I'm on the roof. So I decided to climb up, up and over, and now I'm on the roof. I figured it'd be safer for the both of us. And uh, this will be a great spot to, to document the process. I'm excited to see what's through there. I mean, we know 100% that bees are in there. We just don't know how many. We don't know how big the hive is going to be. It's a little chilly today, so they're, I'm thinking they're going to be a little inactive. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Okay, are we ready? Yeah, you're all suited up. You're good to go. <laughs> well, I never thought I'd be doing this. <laughs> and make sure you guys like the video and subscribe if you're enjoying it. We would appreciate it. We were trying to preserve the wood and preserve the bees. Oh. Oh, buzz saw, that's right. Right. So we thought we could screw these structural screws into the soffit material and pull it out, but it's just not coming there. The screws are pulling out. So we're gonna make a cut here with our buzz saw and then rip it out in two pieces and then hopefully we can save these two. Yeah. But if we can't, this is easily replaceable because we already did it downstairs. Right. There we go. It's packed. Whoa! Nice! How cool. Can we get this one off? Yeah. Oh man, that smell. Whoa. <laughs> Dude. Does it stink? Yeah, it does stink. I wonder why. Some of it's probably rotten maybe. Fermenting? Yeah. Oh, it smells. There's probably worse smells out there though, so. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Like, it's cool, but it smells, so I don't know how to feel. Oh my. Dude. That's insane. And it probably goes deeper. Wow. It's like little, what would you call them? See, to me, this is like old. Right. But this is all the new stuff. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Look, there's plenty of honey in there. There's a big roach right up here. Oh, man. Yeah, look, that's like fresh honey, like right there. Yep. Wow. Do you think that's safe to eat? I don't know anything about it. Hmm. Okay. But I'm not that hungry. <laughs> yeah, this smell takes your appetite away. Well, we removed three sections of our tongue and groove soffit. And there's our, there's our bees, there's our hive. We were expecting 
a more active hive than this. It's what, end of February, it's 53 degrees today. It's cool. A little colder, but it is approaching springtime. Yep. And what it looks like to us is this is where the, the hive started and then the bees, the bees have moved this way with it. And this is a more recent activity. And unfortunately there are some dead bees in here, which really, um, it's disappointing to us. It bums us out. Yeah, it does, because we know how important they are to pollination of all our crops, everything we eat. Almost 85%. They're super percent, vital. I, think. I mean, we grew up in Southern California, or you grew up in Southern California. Yep. And bees were a big deal out there, yeah. as they should be. So, but this is what it was like when we got here. So we're just going to remove all this and clean it up. Right. We're going to have a moment of silence. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it really stinks. It smells. Yeah. It stinks that they're dead, and it also stinks yes. the smell. Yep. It's horrible. So I, I say we just get this cleaned up. And I mean, those have been dead for a long time yeah, right there. It's real soft. It's just falling out. When I think when it starts crunching is when you know that that's how, that's when it's fresh. And I mean, this thing is six inches deep, so I'm going to change gloves. I don't want to wear the ones that came with the suit because I'll ruin them. And then we're just going to get in there and remove it. Yeah, and we don't know how far back this way it goes. Because, I mean, it they covered the whole thing right here. So it could go farther back in the attic. We might. Yeah, if you get the camera in here, Jordan, you see this. There's a rafter right there. So I'm, I'm hoping. I mean, it, it's got to be where they stopped. Oh, okay. And Unless they had some termite homies. Yeah, and then I don't know if that roach is still there. But that's the primary reason for getting rid of these. Because if we leave it the roaches and, and mice and rats will be attracted to right. it. Right. All right. I'm just gonna pull it down. Yeah. Wow. Wow. This is crazy. I, did you ever think you'd be doing something like this? No. Me either, this is. This makes me wonder what an active one looks like. That would be, that'd be really interesting. I'm really hoping that we can maybe salvage some of the fresher stuff, you know? I don't know, maybe just take like just a little tiny bit. I wonder, I wonder what we're talking about as far as how long it took for them to do this. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good question. Any beekeepers out there, let us know. Right. I think I'm just going to do that. Yeah, and if we, if we have any beekeepers in the comments or anybody who's knowledgeable about bees, please, please educate us on, on what we're looking at, how long a hive like this would take to build, um, maybe what caused the bees to die off, anything like that. If you're able to salvage honey, even with a, with a hive that's not fresh, I just think this is so cool. I, th I feel like you're about to see a lot of honey. Trying to be careful where it goes. I don't want to have a big mess to clean up down there. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Some honey on your phone. <laughs> oh, here we go. Wow. Uh, why is our scaffolding all sticky? It's like that when I got it, guys. Oh, man, that noise was. <laughs> oh, that's the fresh stuff. Look how yellow that is. Mm -hmm. Have to 
buy the bee suit. <laughs> wow. Are you down to taste it? I would. Yeah? I'm down. I mean, that, that looks pretty fresh back there. Yeah. Okay. Let's give it a little taste then. But yeah, get the get the the gunk out, and then we will try some on the on the fresh side and see what it's like. I might just have to scrape scrape that with a little putty knife, Dad. Yeah. Is it Velcroed or something? Yeah. That's great. Really? Yes. That's awesome. Just like out of a jar, but much fresher. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna try some. Oh man, that's... All right, so dad's gonna pass me some honey. We're gonna try it. Wow. Yeah, this is a bunch. Oh man. Is it good or what? Mm. Got a little comb in there, no big deal. Wow, that's, that's amazing. We can't have the bees work that hard and not, not taste the fruits of their labor. And so, uh, did they, they were not able to go past the rafter, huh? Nope. Okay. All right. You know what I'm seeing here, Dad? Look. Is there a pattern? No, oh. but there is a hole. Yeah, and there's comb in there. What are you saying? I'm saying that I think they went deeper down that in way. Uh-huh. Why don't you just reach your hand back in there and try and like finger uh, finger feel some some hive back there maybe? I definitely see some comb. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> we have a kitchen remodel to start. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I see that. Yeah. Right here? Yep. So we have some hive activity back here. Can you get that, Jordan? Between the chimney and the yeah, rafter. little little cubby. Yeah, we actually took a f picture with our phone, and there there is some hives in there. So I used the buzz saw and I cut right here. I cut the nails, and now this block is loose. So we're gonna try to remove it. And the picture that we took uh, shows us that there's actually fresh comb and honey back there. I'm almost there. Yeah. Yep, uh, yep, yep, yes, sir. Well, look at all these. Oh my gosh. They, all right, yeah, they're. Right. Okay, I think I think they're mad because we found their backup stash. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so you guys can see that's all fresh comb down there. It's not a lot, doesn't look like a lot, but that's what we're looking at. Hmm. I don't want to drop it. Right. I was just thinking, Jordan, we could try to take this board off. Yeah. And that would allow us access in that whole channel or that space between the... Right. And it, it I mean, it looks like the, the wood ends right there, so that'd probably be super easy to pry off. Well, I'm sure it's behind the siding. And, and, see, and there's only one suit. See, there's a big gap right here. Yeah. So if we took this off, we could inspect the space between the chimney and the house. Right. And we could always put it right back. Clean it out and then put this back and, and seal that and tighter so that seals up. Yes, sir. I think that's the plan. I think that's the play. I don't know how it's attached because there's a big gap here. Right. Maybe it's toenailed into this soffit. We could take the buzz saw and go through here. Okay. And then run, run the buzz saw down, cut all the caulk, and see if we can get it out. All right. Let's just try it. Yep. I don't know what else to do. Just keep keep this thing moving forward. Right. This sounds and looks like a killer bee, doesn't it? A major bee. It's black and white. <laughs> yeah. black, black and yellow. And yeah, that's why the, they bustle. think that's the queen. That's why they're coming back. <laughs> huh. It's amazing what you can do when you don't want to climb down a scaffold to get tools. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, dude. What, dude? There's a big old wavy comb back there. Really? Yeah. Here, get the camera. Very thin, very thin, like a sheet almost. Get the camera back there, if you can. See it way back there? Oh, yeah. Wow. 
Hmm. But that's it. it. And that looks fresh, like yeah. new. I'm just gonna get in there, huh? Mm -hmm. Can you reach all the way back there? Mm -hmm. Your hand sticky? Oh, I, can't, I can't even describe. Well, on the bright side, when you get off the scaffolding, you'll be able to hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna stick really well. All right, a little better. <laughs> it's like those gloves on Mission Impossible when he was on the side of- Those sticky gloves? Yeah, on the side of the- Burj Khalifa? Right. Mm -hmm. All right, what's the next plan of action? Well, this wire kind of, you gotta be careful. All right. This wire is a little concerning to me. What is that, an electrical wire? Yeah. Huh. The scaffolding doesn't have pins in it, so each piece is just sitting on top of each other, not secured. So this is sketchy. Dad has informed me that he's been stung once. The B count has gone up by 100% since we've been here. Just don't have the range of motion in this thing that I need. Right. Getting down is a sketchy process. If I take it off, they're gonna eat me up. Yep. Well, they're after the honey, so the honey's only on your hands. So what, you got to get down here and wash up. My feet are like. It's a strange feeling. It's like sticky, but they're slippery. Right. Oh man. And look at the honey on dripping down the chimney. All the way down. All right. I would give you a high five, but yeah, that's not happening. Later. <laughs> All right, let's get me out of this thing. Yeah. Ooh, but nice job. That's a first for me. <laughs> Look at me. I hadn't seen myself yet. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Mom's gonna be so mad at us. <laughs> well, I hope that people aren't too upset over. The dead bee situation like we said earlier in the video if we had total control over the situation and it was up to us we would have done our best to preserve those guys and we feel bad because they work so hard on the hive hopefully we get another bee call you know let's get dad uh, unsuiting up here but they, they've been dead a long time you think so yeah. where's that sting well, i'm right there oh but this oh, is that, where i felt it oh 100 does it hurt? No. No? No. I'm just... I don't think I've ever been stung by a bee. Is that your first time being stung by a bee? I got stung by a wasp I don't... Uh, a couple years ago. Uh-huh. And I still have a little mark right there. Oh, wow. Alrighty, gang. So that is going to be a wrap for part one of this two-part series. We're coming back tomorrow to repair, clean up everything we just did and make it look like no one was ever there, right? Right. Including the bees. Including the bees. And uh, we were going to get a man lift, right? Right. But the, we're way out in the boondocks here. Delivery charges were out, out of sight. And then those things are very heavy. We didn't even know that the, uh, the truck could have made it over these little bridges that we uh, talked about in a previous video. Right. We even talked about a tow behind man lift. But again, we're, we're pretty far from that. It would, it would basically have to park right here where the truck is. And... So we just went with the scaffolding. Yeah, and the scaffolding was a little sketchy. We didn't have pins to secure it, so it was wobbling on us. And when we were trying to get down, it would kind of teeter. So th that doesn't bother us as much, though, the sketchiness. Yeah, I'll go get pins in the morning. Though. Right, we'll get some pins. Yeah. We'll come back, and uh, we'll finish it up tomorrow. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button for us and hit subscribe. We're on the road to 1,000, and we have a blast making these videos, right, Dad? We do. Yeah, so part two is going to be coming out where we repair it in case you want to see how we do that. And we'll see you in the next one. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.